Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We're at the firewall. Got it all cut out yesterday. I'm coming to the side pieces on this on the side here. When I cut it in with a jigsaw and I cut that in with a the jigsaw, then I drilled a hole in that, and then I took the jigsaw and cut that way, and then I cut that way and got them cut out nicely. All the edges I flapper wheeled to get it down nice and right. Um, Jolene asked me if I could have cut with a zip cut, and I probably could have, and I'm going to maybe cut the firewall today with a zip cut. Uh, and you're going to see why. But this is what I've been doing. I didn't figure I'd put you through all the painstaking noise that, that goes on with this. Um, what I've been doing is putting all the circles on the aluminum. Um, and I'm calling this the real handmade car because I did the, all this by hand. I did not get out a drill press and liner up. Did not do that. I did all that by hand. I made one straight line at the top. I did one straight line, then I carried the whole way down. I did that side. I'm going to finish off this side so you can see how exactly how I've done it. I want to thank everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. I'm just going to finish up this side, and then we'll do it. <laughs> If it doesn't look good, it's to go back on it again. If you want this perfect, I'm sure there's a way to do it. Just looking at the other side, see how close I am? About halfway, not bad, not bad at all. So that's how I did the whole the whole firewall. This is aluminum that I'm doing. If you have not been and uh, you've just come here, I'm doing a firewall for Jolene's Bugatti. I did it all in aluminum. Just gonna wipe off. There's my first line. You can see I put it on there with, um, you can see some of the line I put it on there with a the marker. I'm going to have to wipe that off with a, some thinner. Yes, I am. That's Jolene's firewall for her car. So as I, as I look at that and as I try to put that in there, I know I'm not going to get that in there because it's bigger at the bottom. Stick it in there for shits and giggles. If I stick it in there, like so, because I know I'm not going to have a chance getting that in there. I'd almost have to bend it in half to get that flapped around in there. Uh, I'm not willing to do that. I spent too much time putting all the marks and grooves in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out. What I'm going to have to do is what I thought I was going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut it in half. Uh, once I cut it in half, I'll put one side in at a time. And then I can um, run something down the center of it. That's what I think I can do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and cut it from the back side, I'm thinking. And then you'll get to see me try it in there. You've seen how I put the, the lines in it. You know how I cut it out. I cut it out with a jigsaw. Uh, it was not 
what can I say? It wasn't that hard, um, but it was not my favorite thing to do. We're going to get a marker and a straight edge. Jolene looks amazing this morning. Amazing this morning. As always, I'm going to get a marker. I think what I'll do is I'll measure that in the center. I'm not sure if it's going to be a nice straight line or not. I'm not sure, but we'll measure it just to see if it is. Center of nine of nine and a quarter would be four and a half would be nine and a quarter would be an eighth. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a line up through here. I'm going to I'm just going to make a line in the middle of this. This is where I've got the hood pinned in the center. So the hood actually has a little pin that sticks in the middle of the hood and is right here in the end and I didn't know how I didn't know how to connect the hood. I didn't have anything uh, to connect the hood. But what, what's going on is the hood, you have to pick the hood up um, and slide it in that pin and then it comes down and sits on top of this. That's the only thing I've done for the hood to make it sit on the car. And, as, and it has a lip that goes in here and fits on top of this. Um, it does not fold up, does not bend. It's a one piece hood. So what we're, we're coming up with is when we put the hood on, we are going to leather strap it with buckles on it maybe, maybe one here or one one here and one down there, or one here and one there on the, other, on the other side also. So you'll have to unstrap it and then lift it off, which shouldn't be that hard. I've done it many times. Um, we're not gonna hopefully have too many issues with the car. We're gonna try to build it, get it running right, and then deal with it. Someone's got my truck. All right, and then we're going to draw a line. I just want to look at that and see it's halfway straight. It looks good and straight to me. I'm not going to cut that with the jigsaw, I don't think. I'm probably going to, I'm going to try to cut it with the zip cut. I can probably cut a straighter line with the zip cut than the jigsaw. The only thing I'm worried about, what am I worried about? I'm not worried about anything. I'm just going to do it. So I'm cutting it in half so I can get it in there. So I'll be able to put one side in and then I'll be able to put the other side in. I'll have to get both pieces in place uh, before I start drilling any holes in it or anything like that. There's going to probably be some weld marks down here that's going to stop me or try to hold me up from getting what I want. And um, I will just prevail by keep on going. I'll just figure it out as I go. A lot of this stuff I have no idea until I get into it. And uh, once you get into it, and then the quicker you figure it out, the quicker you can get it done. Uh, I want to cut this from the back side because I do not want to score anything that I've got going on in the front side. What a great game last night for the Canadians. Uh, we're gold medalists again. Um, the juniors are fantastic, fantastic bunch of young men, I would say, by just by their interviews and uh, the game they played. They played a fantastic game. We have lots of people, lots of friends that went. Uh, we even had one friend that caught a puck, did we not? Right on. Um, I just want to say congratulations to the Canadians, and I want to say congratulations to all the other countries. Uh, they've also done a great job, and they can be proud of their young men. Alrighty, I'm going to try to cut this bad boy. And also, if, I'm just thinking to myself as I do this, if I make any kind of a boo-boo going up through the center of it, I know I'm going to have to put something um, wider than the gap itself to cover it. So I know that I can, anyways, I'm just letting you know, um, if you have to do something like this, you're going to put something over the middle of it anyway. So if it has a little bit of a gap there, that's fine because you're going to end up covering it. And I also know something that would cover it up nice um, when it's on there. It starts with bad chad.
Jolene's running the camera, but I also want her to hold down that for me, please. So that piece don't take off. If you can, thank you, sweetheart. Just hold down on Just put your hand on top of it so it don't take off and fall on the ground. That's all. Thank you very much, sweetie pal. There's two pieces of aluminum I've, I've just cut it in half and the reason I put all the, the, the machine work on it first because I would, it wouldn't match up um, if I did not. I'm going to take my run my zip cut down the edge of this. Put that piece right there. Now is the time that I'm going to go in there and check it out and see what i got going on. Seems like a lot of work to cut it in half, doesn't it, baby? Just going to put a little bit of tape on the front of my pliers just because I'm going to clamp it to the car. And I don't want any marks in it if possible. And if there is any marks in it, um, it's called a handmade car. Uh, I read a comment yesterday. I don't read many comments, but I read a comment yesterday. They were saying something like, wow, there's a lot of work in building a car. Yes, there is a lot of work in building a car, especially when you're doing something like this, when you're making the firewall, you're making the gas pedal, you're making the brake pedal, you're making the steering, you're making the body, you're sanding the body fill. You're <laughs> it's everything, and um, it's, it is a lot of work. Yes, it is. Thanks for recognizing I'm going to take those and just stick those right here for now. Got two of those. I'm going to decide which side I want to put in first. This is the one I have, so let's put this one in. There's a little piece of weld that I've got the body welded down on the on this table. A little piece of weld there, and it's going to affect what I'm doing. And. Uh, We're tight already. That one up there fitting nice. Now, where are we hitting? I have to fear. Now we're hit to me. We're hitting. We're hitting right down here is where we're hitting. Right down there on the top of that. I'm gonna have to take some out of that. Yes, I am to make that fit right. Nice there, nice there. Could take a little bit off this one right here. A little bit right there. But that definitely one down there with the weld is holding me up. I'm gonna take a... I should have my marker, but I don't. Um, you want it? Uh, will you pass me the marker, please, we here? That'd be fantastic. Thanks, sweetheart. I just like to mark where I've got to cut it off. I've got a little bit up in there, and I've got. I would say that much to go there, at least that much. All right. Let's get back out and trim it. None of this, I'm going to say, 
is the right way. Not, not even a little bit of it as I say it's the right way. Um, it's the way I'm doing it. And uh, if you like it, you can take it. If you don't like it, do it your way. that it fits this time. There we go. Love it. Now let's take a clamp. Just gonna clamp it inside here. Just gonna take a nut up just a little bit. Looks nice. Oh baby. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. Not as nice as you, but nice. reason we have some off here because we have some weld in there that's got to go back a little bit tighter there's we've got some weld right there that's holding it off there so it can go in there a little bit tighter we can we can we can fits nice up in there we got a nice going on up in there or up in there nice good that looks really good now we're going to try the other piece on all I did for the swirls is I went to town, my, my uh, Napa know-how store, and bought some of them 3 on 3 3M roll-offs, I guess they're called. Roll-offs, I think they're called roll-offs. And they, I'm guessing they're 3M, but uh, that's all I did. Awesome. Awesome. With the engine in there and the, and the cam covers, that should look really good. And I will say, <laughs> you will be able. To, you will know by looking at it, or you could, or you should know, or you could know by looking at it that it is hand done, hand built. That is a good thing. Not many things nowadays is, wants to be hand done. Everybody wants a machine or a computer or or something like that to do it for them. Now, what am I up against here? I'm up against nothing. that now would you absolutely gorgeous that might need a little bit of tweaking that fits in there like a glove so we're tight together here the middle okay now that I have that in there I'm going to have to come along. That really fits nice, but I took the one eighth of it. It really fits nice and tight and right. I'm going to have to come along where it's nice and tight and right like that. I'm saying that's where it's going to go. I do not like it, though. I do not have a true read down here on the, on the table because of the weld holding it out. I don't like that part. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to come along here and measure out a certain distance. Well, probably, you know, I don't know, every, we'll say three inches, every four inches, we'll come along here. We'll get a brass screw put in that all the way along the outside of it and the reason i'm saying the outside of it uh, is because or i don't want to i don't want to just glue it on there i want to i could i could two face tape it on there as far as that goes um, i could have laid i could have went to the the sticker store and uh, got some you can buy that stuff in a vinyl wrap and i could have vinyl wrapped it but it's not the same to me it's not the same as having something that's hand done on the car um, we'll know that by the imperfections in it and that's some, like Jolene said, the imperfection sometimes is the beauty of the art. And uh, this car is being made by these two little hands that I have. Um, the entire car is being made by my two little hands. So everything on this car is not 
perfect. No, it's not. I didn't barely use a measuring tape. I used my eye, I used my, my brain, and I used my will, my want, and my know-how to make what I want. Um, so that's where it's at. It's a handmade car, and I don't mind the imperfections in it. Some of the swirl marks uh, left a little shiny place in it. Don't mind that because it just gives it a little more bling. But as I'm saying, as I'm putting this on here, I could have used a sticker and put a vinyl wrap on that and made that absolutely look perfect because it them, them circles on them ones are perfect. But when I when I screw this to the edge all the way around on this firewall, I'm thinking it's going to make the firewall stronger for the brake system. And the reason being is because the edge on this firewall underneath this piece of metal is welded all the way along the edge nice and tight and right. It's just that the metal on it, it's a little bit flimsy. But when I put this 14 gauge aluminum on there and I connect it all the way to the outside edge like the 18 or 18 gauge underneath of it, it should be a fairly strong firewall and with a not a whole bunch of flex and bend. We have a brace here for the brakes and uh, brace here for the brakes on the dash, but on the firewall is just bolted to the 18 gauge. And where I'm bolting this or screwing this uh, 14 gauge aluminum to the firewall, I'm just trying to make it a little more tougher and rougher and rugged for the brake system, also for the look. So I have to, it looks pretty good right now. I probably could go in there and start marking out the holes that I have to drill for the brakes, the hole I have to drill for the, for the steering, the hole I have to drill for uh, the gas pedal. And other than that, I don't know right at the present moment. I'm gonna get out and take a look at it. And um, I've seen the covers on on uh, on the video and the covers on the video do not look good as they do in person this looks better in person doesn't i think it looks better in person than it does on the video so oh, I don't, well it does look better in person than it does on the video but it looks really nice there so if you can picture it that's the firewall joey's car we've got the two cam covers that come on that match it's like my face and my ass it's not that they look alike it's that they belong together it's called a match so that's where I'm at right now. I got that fitting in there tight and right. I did not try it. It was the first time you see me put it in there. So now I got some holes that I have to, uh, you can see from the inside, I can take patterns from. It's also quite a ways away from the firewall. So I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit. I can see I'm caught up on a little bit of filler here. There's a little bit of filler in there. Um, there's a little bit of this, a little bit of that on there to make that come tight and set tight. It's gonna take a little bit of shaving, a little bit of playing and, and that sort of stuff. But you go in the inside, you can see my pattern for my brakes. I push that up nice and tight and right like that. Then I can make my pattern for my ball, for my, my master cylinder, my brake cylinder. And I will connect that all the way around the outside where it's nice and tight and right. Not sure. Not sure if I'm gonna bolt that on or screw it or and countersink the screws in. It's 14 gauge, we'd have a little bit of room to countersink it. I think that looks good. We'll take another walk in and just look at the cam covers themselves. We're in the paint room, we've got the door shut right now. So if you can picture it, we've got the firewall is coming, it's just a quarter inch back from these oil galleries. I'm hoping that <laughs> the quarter inch from the back of the oil galleries and the cam covers look like that. And I think they look fantastic. Uh, and they'll and that'll go with the firewall, which will re look really nice. I have not bothered um, doing anything with the manifold yet. I said we'd make a video on that because when something happens or um, ratings go up, you know how that goes. I did, I did pick up some more pipe for the top radiator hose. So I would like to get that manifold on before I make this top radiator hose, but now I've got two 45s here that I can make it. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing um, as I did on the other side. And probably like this. No, how did I put make that? Whatever, it's going on there like so. It might even just went straight, I'm not sure. But to me, uh, I, got, I got two 45s uh, to get it done. It'll probably come off there or something like yo, like yo, like yay, like something like that there and run into my um, intake, into my 
yeah, into my intake. And another reason, another reason thing too, I want to, like I was talking to Jimbo, I want to get that off. Um, I could sandblast and leave it and put it on and go for it. Yes, I could, but there's a thermostat in there. And I don't really want to put the engine all together and have a crappy thermostat that if it, if it fails on me, I have to pull it back off and repair it. I do not want that. Uh, I learned a couple things from people talking on the internet. These little pieces here um, would keep the heat from the carburetor uh, to stop it from vapor locking. So the heat from the aluminum would travel through that a piece of aluminum, go to the carburetor, and maybe heat up the fuel and vapor lock the carburetion system so it does not start again. So I'm thinking that these pieces here, um, these thick carburetor gaskets, stop it from vapor locking. I can remember people cutting wood and making a system like that so their carburetor stopped vapor locking so that's what we have there i think i probably will put them back in just in case um yeah so we'll get to that maybe we'll do that on the next video but today i'm, I'm working on the firewall i want to get that done i'm going to have to run to get some brass screws to, to fit that uh, that's part of the job once you get going you have to go get the stuff you need uh, to get it done so we, we are going slow but we are making progress every day and uh, as, uh, as I'm doing this here, you know, I could be doing the body work on it too. Uh, and, uh, and I am in places, but um, the firewall looks very, very cool. It's awesome. I'm happy with it, very happy with it. I wasn't looking forward to making that because it was such a big piece. But once I got started, I just went for it and it went well. Um, I'm happy with it. When you open the hood of it and you see the engine of it, it's gonna look awesome, absolutely awesome. Uh, it's gonna be a nice car to have it done and complete it. And, and the reason being is, is because I can say I made it. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. Most, most cars um, get shipped around. One person does one thing, the next person does the next thing, and the next person does the next thing. But I can say that I actually uh, welded the car, uh, built the car, um, did the chassis on the car, did the suspension on the car. I can take blame for every mistake that has been made. How's that? basically is what I'm trying to say. All right, everybody, that's the end of it. That's basically what I'm doing. I wanted to get the firewall in there and show you what it looked like and how I did it. You've seen me cut it yesterday with the, with the jigsaw, and I could have cut it with a zip cut. Yes, I could have, but uh, that's what I did. I cut the jigsaw and got it all done. Today, I did the, the, the machine work on it, and you watched me cut it in half and put it in. The paper pattern that I made worked. I did not get all sophisticated with it. I just stuck it on there and stuck pieces in where I needed it. You can do the exact same thing. And it's Friday. Have a great day, everybody. It's Friday. Go home. Think about what you want to do on your project. If you get one thing done, it's one thing that you don't have to do the next time. Have a great day, everybody. Come back tomorrow. We'll be here.